Over the years, I've come to see myself as a visionary leader, that reformer that can bring back the glorious days of Plato State. For 40 years, I can say categorically, as Jesus said, I know my people, my people know me. When they talk, I understand. When I talk, they also understand. Um, because unless you know the people, you cannot lead them. Unless they know you, they cannot trust you. For 40 years, as an advocate on Plato State, I've been able to justify the trust and the confidence that people have reposed me with their individual problems, with their communal problems, and societal problems. And I've not been found wanting. A leader is what I want to be, not a ruler. At this point, there can be no disputes. Plato State is in need of a leader that has a combination of Trinity requirements, a leader with a vision, a leader who has the capacity to reform, and above all, a leader who understands the meaning of leadership of an entire state. For me, my name has come to become has become an acronym for person who understands leadership. PWUL. And I want to live up to that expectation to drive Plateau State towards restoring its glory of the past, towards bringing back its vibrant economy, towards making a responsible government to cater for the people. A leader who places himself as an exemplary leader, not a leader who places himself above the people. As a matter of priority, the interest of the people he leads and not his own personal interests. That is the leader we need. Merit. We must go back to those days that Christians and Muslims took the interest of Plato State first. Christians and Muslims socialized. Christians and Muslims considered themselves as brothers. Now we have become losers because we allow religion to divide us. Therefore, if we must move forward, we must put aside sentiments, emotions, and intellectual knowledge and rely on practical first-hand experience, which I've garnered over 40 years. Plato must move forward. Plato needs poor, P-W-U-L, person who understands leadership.